The Royal Enfield Interceptor Bear 650 is generating significant interest ahead of its official debut following its homologation process. While it shares similarities with the standard Interceptor, this new model incorporates several modifications aimed at enhancing its off-road capabilities. Suspension upgrades are a highlight of the Bear, featuring upside-down forks that replace the conventional units found on the Interceptor. These forks not only offer improved construction but also longer travel. The twin rear shocks have also been enhanced, resulting in increased ground clearance and likely a higher seat height than the standard Interceptor's 804mm. The Bear is equipped with block pattern tires designed to offer better grip on unpaved surfaces. The front wheel appears larger than the rear, indicating a shift from the Interceptor's 18-inch wheels to a more adventurous 19-inch front and 17-inch rear configuration. This change aligns with its intended role as a light off-roader and opens up a wider selection of suitable tires. The instrumentation has been revamped, transitioning from the Interceptor's twin pod setup to a more scrambler typical single pod design. This streamlined setup suggests a large digital display or possibly a fully digital screen within the pod. In terms of exhaust, Royal Enfield has opted for a stylish 2 into one system that looks great and is likely to reduce weight. The exhaust routes beneath the engine, distinguishing it from the high-mounted designs seen on competitors like the Triumph Scrambler 900 and 1200. The fuel tank appears to be the same as that on the Interceptor, but the side panels now feature a distinctive oval shape reminiscent of flat track racer number plates. The tail section has also been redesigned, showcasing a round tail lamp and a cleaner overall layout, although the gap between the rear tire and mudguard is quite pronounced. The engine remains largely unchanged, expected to produce similar output figures of around 47 horsepower and 52 newton meters, consistent with the existing 650 lineup. While the main frame looks identical to that of the Interceptor, the altered geometry and suspension setup will certainly affect its handling dynamics. With homologation underway, the Interceptor Bear 650 is likely to be officially unveiled at EICMA in Milan on November 5th. Pricing is expected to be slightly higher than that of the standard Interceptor, which ranges from 3.03 lakh to 3.31 lakh rupees. Overall, the Interceptor Bear 650 promises to combine classic aesthetics with enhanced off-road capabilities, catering to enthusiasts eager to explore beyond the pavement.